Entertainment and one other thing I just want to highlight is startups up there is actually running in the entertainment space which did feature them. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, long story short, these are the broad opportunities but the opportunities are pretty much everywhere. <laughs> so uh, obviously what he's actually working on didn't feature in the list that he presented. So questions, do we have questions? We could have a, yep. So uh, for this blockchain, uh, the underlying theme is uh, distributed trust. So if, if, if majority of people say, uh, yes, it's a magic combination that we have. So uh, can you talk about what is that majority? Because if I talk from a specific perspective. You decide. You are. Uh, so from it, uh, uh, how many folks have to say that, yes, it's a magic combination, right? Very uh, specific. I would not know the real number. No, but I mean, how does it come in? Like, uh, uh, I would not know the real number, but it's somewhere between 21 and... Uh, okay, so there are specific numbers. Yes, yes, and yes. Right. And who will also... Uh, uh, see, first thing, uh, first thing is the coin has to be mined, the hash has to be recalculated, and uh, the hash has to match, and uh, you know what's the nonce? So you know what's the nonce. So, uh, with all this nonce coming into the picture, the hash has to be recalculated properly, and if it can be calculated within uh, within certain uh, time frame and within certain number like 21 or 76, then it is considered as a valid thing. So, for you to change that 21, your next question would be: For you to, if you want to change those, and you own those 21, and you want to change it, it is very highly uh, unlikely, and the all the other the Lend six are so much that if you have to uh, if you have to do such change, it would take uh, the numbers like it would take 18 years to 180 years to do. You manipulate it. Yes, yes. No, to manipulate it as well. You manipulate it and you own all the chains and you want to manipulate it. Suppose it is uh, humanly not possible. And uh, how do we? Uh, and this number to your question, how many have to say yes? For blockchain, uh, for uh, Bitcoin is something where that is the number. But as a, if you are asking me this question as an entrepreneur, uh, if you are doing something for uh, say crop insurance, you decide. You decide if it is rain devastated crop, then six people from this locality have to say yes, there was rain and it was devastating rain. So you have to, you decide that number six and you decide the geography. Suppose you have to release a payment for a rain, a rain uh, devastated crop. But number six is decided by the insurance company. It can be 60 also. And that number need not be fixed. That number can be a changing number based on the algorithm of that particular locality. If there are 10,000 farmers in that locality, number six would not be a good number. But if there are only 30 farmers from that locality, six is a very, very good number. And how do we? Again, in the specific case, uh, how, do, how do we start participating in uh, the transaction? How do I become the person who, is, who, who would also say ha? Huh, yes, right. it is a minor. You have to become a minor. So, how do you become a minor? Is a very simple question. And you buy a mining equipment. Mining equipment could be as good as a laptop. Uh, not anymore, not anymore, but laptops were good. But I, have, I still have a mining on my laptop. Which is doing nothing. Even desktops have gone. Now you need to have very high speed graphic cards, and many, many of those graphic cards have to start mining. And the and you have to decide what you want to mine. You want to mine Bitcoin, you want to mine Ether, then you go to Ether, Ethereum. You go to Ethereum and download their mining software, install on it, and start burning. And uh, there is what is called as how many hashes you can do per second. And uh, uh, you reach that threshold, the hashes start coming to you, and you calculate, 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 and you can still make money. There, are, there is a big group in uh, uh, BTM level. I have the contact if you want, I part of uh, their group uh, who have, uh, um, who set up, uh, who set up uh, small mining uh, units which you can run in your house if you have free power. Or whatever you are spending is power. And why you said laptop doesn't make sense? is the amount of time and power you spend on laptop. Mainly time, power is of course whatever. Uh, is no more, uh, does not break even for the 
uh, cost which you get for money. So that is one way of freely earning uh, Bitcoin. If you mine coins, the concept is like if you go and mine gold. But if I and you go to Kolar and mine gold, it's not worth our time and money. You will not get so much gold. So if you mine in your laptop or my laptop, you will not get so much. So uh, in this case, if, if I just spawn thousands of miners on my own, yes. I could very well be the guy who says that the transaction is right 20 times. So my question is more around that. Yes. So the more if, if I if I own a lot of miners, then I kind of But how do you you can own mining, but you can't own the mining software? No, it's it's so I put wrong effort in the mining of them. No. So the algorithm is actually checked. The algorithm, when, when an algorithm changes, all the mining algorithms also get changed. In terms of how you have to mine, what hash has to be recalculated, right, and how the mining has to happen. So it would not match with the uh, it would not match with the hash which is there with anyone else at least once. And if that happens, then your chain gets you are getting. Yeah, no, but it would it would take it, uh, if you have to mine so quickly, and if you have to get the same transaction to you, how do you know that the transaction will come into your farm? Suppose there are mining farms. Russia has huge mining farms. Russia has huge, huge, huge mining farms uh, kept in uh, uh, containers, the shipping containers. But how are you sure that you get the transaction so that your transaction you manipulate and get it back? Power is like number. Number of yes, yes, but if you own all the miners, then I own the But demands the cost for it. And that is what everyone are thinking. Every kid wants to do is either try to do something in mining and get it out or get my own coin. Not get to like Bitcoin, I'll have my own coin, Satya In fact, uh, part of the title was that why it may fail. So uh, I just want to tell you three points and uh, why it may fail. The whole proposition was that if you actually look at the history of it and where it got started, it was about democratizing the whole ecosystem from how the financial services were managed. So uh, the way it is moving is clearly moving away from the very essence of democratizing it. So uh, fundamentally, uh, it's uh, trust driven and which is exactly where it is going away from, right? So that is one reason why it won't take off or it may not become or it may be a biggest challenge for us to deal with. So of course people are attracting funding. So uh, but irrespective of it, that is one big challenge that you will uh, see the challenges of sustaining thing. And the other one is that the government is right, Chinese are getting in and legally officially China is getting into it. Large enterprises are getting into it. See now reliance could very well go and bid to set up a bank, but they are choosing to go and set up a geo coin. So uh, they obviously want to be outside of the realm of governments, and they still hold a lot of influence both in the administration, governments, and economy. So if such people get into it, obviously there is no real question of democracy or uh, the real essence of democracy sustained in this. So these are the challenges. And the third one is uh, also part of the presentation he made, right? That there are already consortiums getting into it. The industries, banks, insurance companies, large enterprises are creating a consortium and they are defining the governing charter, if you will, right? How to govern this space. And this whole thing was supposed to be outside of the governing charter. And they are trying to create a charter within that. So these are the things which will actually are, uh, they are trying to systemize this which had to break the system. The whole essence of blockchain was to break the existing system and government and all these large enterprises are doing their best to create a system inside them. So that is what is taking up in the very mojo, right? So that is where people like me are a minority still who think that blockchain may not be that. So probably we will have to still look at getting something else but till then uh, we are also part of one other uh, blockchain ventures, so create more blockchain ventures. Thank you so much. And can we? Uh, uh, he actually had a lot of things to talk about.
he just had to stop because the time constraints. So okay. we'll have a quick coffee break before we jump into the pitches. So after that, uh, in the open forum, you know, we can just chat up if you have more things. Uh, Sachin just loves to talk. <laughs> and he has a lot of content, unlike me. So <laughs> no, no, no. we can continue this. We can have a... We can just step out for a quick break.